Meanwhile, 51 percent of Americans want to see Judge Amy Coney Barrett confirmed to the U.S. Supreme Court. This according to a new Gallup poll. Barrett's approval number is higher than both of President Trump's previous SCOTUS nominees, Justices Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. 46 percent opposed Cavett's, or, I'm sorry, Barrett's confirmation, and just 3 percent said they do not have an opinion on the matter. The Senate Judiciary Committee will vote on Barrett's confirmation tomorrow, and Chairman Lindsey Graham says he is looking forward to voting her through, especially after this happened. You work for me, sir. I pay your salary, sir. Where are you from? It doesn't matter where I'm from. I'm from the United States of America, sir. Where are you from? Am I voting for this woman who's a racist? Well, I'm enthusiastically going to our... support Judge Barrett. Why? Because I think she's highly qualified. Well, you see Graham being confronted there by two protesters after arriving at Reagan Airport in Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, Judge Barrett continues to face attacks on her character and faith. The Associated Press recently wrote a story about Barrett's time serving on the board of a private Christian school. They interviewed dozens of students and teachers who said the school's policies discriminated against the LGBT community. One student accused Barrett of saying LGBTQ children were not welcome there. So is this a fair attack or are they, is this an example of anti-religious bigotry? Joining us now to talk more about this is the founder of the Huey Report, Craig Huey. He's also the author of a new book called The Christian Voter, Seven Non-Negotiables for Voting For, Not Against Your Values. Great to see you, Craig. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, John. It's great to be with you. Well, I want to post here what Eric Erickson tweeted. Eric Erickson, a friend of ours here, about the AP article, quote, breaking Amy Coney Barrett was a board member of a Christian school that actually believes what the scripture says. This is anti-Christian bigotry from the AP masquerading as a defense of gay rights. You know, Craig, as you know, and I think most of our audience understands this, but some people don't seem to get it, there's a much bigger difference between a private Christian school and a public school. Amy Coney Barrett has talked about this all week, last week, her difference between her personal faith and her secular job. Why is this so hard for some people to grasp? You know, John, it's really disturbing because based upon our Constitution, we have freedom of speech and we also have freedom of religion. And she's exercising the freedom of religion. Uh, the school is exercising freedom of religion. The fact is, this school is built upon a Christian foundation. It believes in the scripture, believes in the Bible. And under the Constitution, we have a right to hold to those beliefs. And these attacks are really a reverse form of bigotry. It's bigotry against Christians. It's, it's disturbing. And this is what's been done to this poor lady who, who's so qualified for the Supreme Court. She's been marginalized. She's been attacked. She's been abused by those who are attacking her faith attacking her family and uh, they can't attack her qualifications but she's a a born again evangelical christian catholic uh, she comes out of the charismatic movement these people like so, so you know millions and millions of catholics and evangelical christians believe in the word of god and it, it's not anti-gay it's holding the scripture and that's what they're doing Mm -hmm. And Pope Francis even talking about this, the difference between civil unions and a you know, Christian marriage in the biblical sense of the word. Two separate things here. But I want to talk about President Trump's evangelical yes. support, because yes. if you believe these polls, like this one from the Pew Research Center, President Trump is losing some of his evangelical support. We've also seen groups like uh, this Not Our Faith PAC. They are encouraging Christians to vote for Joe Biden which is hard for some people to believe. There's also this comment by conservative evangelical Senator Ben Sass. Take a listen. The way he treats women and spends like a, a drunken sailor, the ways I criticize President Obama for that kind of spending, I've criticized President Trump for as well. He mocks um, evangelicals behind closed doors. His, his family has treated the presidency like a business opportunity. He's flirted with white supremacists. So how does that all square with your seven non-negotiables? Well, here's the thing, John. Um, evangelicals back in 2016 supported President Trump by a historic 81 percent. The polls now are showing around 78, 79 percent. I believe it's going to be higher. 
Once people understand the, the contrast between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, you know, uh, Christians are not looking at the man's tweets. They're not looking at the man's different uh, attitudes. I think, Craig, you know, you could just point to those, those three Supreme Court uh, nominations and, and, you know, the two confirmations and the, the pending one coming up. Awesome. we got to wrap it up there, Craig, but thanks so much for your time. The new book is called Christian, The Christian Voter, Seven Non-Negotiables for Voting For, Not Against Your Values. We appreciate Craig Huey. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.